Hello, I'm sorry I wasn't able to pick up your call. You've called me no twice. No worries, that's fine. Okay, no thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Yes, um, I was given some literature by some Muslims on the street. It was quite some time ago now. They told me that the Bible has been corrupted, that the Quran says the Bible has been corrupted. I was wondering, could you please show me where does the Quran say that? Um, could, oh, sorry, um, do you know the literature that you were given? Um, could you by any chance send me a photo of that so I can see for myself? No, uh, no. Where, where it says corrupt, um, I don't think it says anywhere in the Quran that the, the Bible or is the Quran corrupt. So could you, could you send me the reference first, please? No, I don't actually have it anymore. I didn't actually keep it. And they weren't able to answer my questions. They just told me, I can't trust the Bible. It's all been corrupted. It's been re-edited and it's been corrupted. And they said the Quran says, you you know, the Bible has been corrupted. So, uh, brother, where, where, where are you from? Are you from the UK? Or? Yes, yes, I speak with an English you, accent, don't I? Yes. yes. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you live in Cardiff? I'm I'm to the south of Cardiff. South of Cardiff. Uh, so um, so do you know the Rose area? Are you familiar, acquainted with that? No, no. Um, uh, the um, Grangetown Docks area. Why is this significant? Why, why, why I was thinking that if it would be easier for you if you would, you're more welcome to come to our uh, mosque. I don't go to any. Family. I don't go to any religious meetings, and I have no, no intention no, what, of what, starting. What, what, what I was saying is because I'm the imam of the uh, yes. one of the mosques in Cardiff. Yes. Um, you, you're more than welcome to come, and me and you can just have a you know, private, just sit down and uh, have a chat if, if you, if you um, prefer it like that. Well, we're having a chat now, aren't we? Yes, uh, I'm a bit busy at the moment, but. Uh, um, why did you call me? Why did you call me when you're busy? Why not? Why not call me? Why not send me a text and say, Robert, I'll call you on such and such a day, a couple of days time, when you've got some time to prepare. And would you would you like to do that? Would that be the best solution? I, I've no intention of travelling a long distance, meeting someone, and then the guy says I haven't actually prepared. I think it would be best if you could just get back to me. And, and really show me from the Quran. I've got a copy of the Quran. It's on my table. It's by Dr. Muhammad Mushin Khan. Um, I'm curious about Surah 10, verse 94, because I've been studying, I've been applying myself, and it seems to imply that the Bible, or rather the Torah and the Gospel, the Torah and the Injil, are to be trustworthy. They're trusted. Because it says it points people to the those who read the book, meaning the Torah and the Injil. And it says, so be not of those who doubt it. I don't be of those who doubt the Torah and the Injil. Um, so the Quran seems to assume the Bible is uncorrupted and is reliable and is the word of God. The Quran that I, I I can see, it doesn't say anywhere that the Bible has been corrupted. Let me just read it. Surah, Surah 10 verse 94 surah 10 is the yunus the jonah surah yunus the jonah surah um so if you owe muhammad excuse me someone at the door excuse me There was a there was a postal delivery. Right. Sorry about that. Right. Good. Um, Surah 10, verse 94. I'm reading from the Khan version. So if you, O Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed to you, i.e. that your name is written in the Torah, the Torah and Injil gospel, then ask those who are who are reading the book, the Torah, Torah and Injil gospel, before you, verily the truth has come to you from your Lord, so be not of those who doubt it. So people are told, Muhammad is told, go to the people of the book, 
go to the people of the Torah and the Injil. This was supposedly written in the uh, 600s in the 7th century. So in the 7th century, they're saying that the Torah and the Injil go to those people who read this, these, this, this book because it's trustworthy. Muhammad's not told to go to the people of the book because the book's been corrupted and it's been edited and it's, it's all a pack of lies. He's told to go to the, those who read the book, the Torah and the Injil, because it's, it's the word of God, it's reliable. And then Muhammad is told, so be not of those who doubt it. What I have, as I've looked at this, I think the people who doubt the Bible are the Islamic scholars. The Islamic scholars, I think, commit shirk because they disagree with the Quran. When the Quran says the Bible is trustworthy, the Islamic scholars, to get power and influence for themselves, they say, don't trust the Bible, trust us instead. And then they say the opposite of what the Quran says about the Bible. Could you possibly go to uh, chapter 5, verse 68? Yes, of course. Could you read that to me, please? 5, verse 68, although I note you have nothing to say on um, Surah 10, verse 94. Just wait there, I'll get you. All right. Surah 5, verse 68? Say, O Muhammad, O people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, you have nothing as regard guidance till you act according to the Torah and Injil gospel. And what has now been sent down to you from your Lord, the Quran? So meaning that you have to finish the verse. Could I finish finish the verse? They are are the uh, books of Allah. They are the books of Allah. We're not denying that. But the original form, right? So now what... Could I finish the verse? ...is been saying is that all people of the book... Could I finish the verse, please? Cannot, ...cannot follow what has been revealed before... Could I finish, I could I finish reading, could I finish re- reading the verse, please? Could I please finish reading the verse? I'm, I, could I, sir, sir, I want to have a two-way conversation with you. I don't want to be just breached at. Could I please, you asked me to read verse 68, and you cut me off in the middle of the verse. I've only read half the verse. Could I please read the verse? I'm sorry, but you're being very rude, and... I can't have a conversation. I was reading the Quran and you interrupted me when I was reading the Quran. I read half of verse 68 and then you cut me off. I would like to continue reading to the end of the verse. That's fine. Thank you. Have a nice day, man. you inshallah. The rest of the verse says, Verily that which has been sent down to you, Muhammad, from your Lord, increases in many of them their obstinate rebellion and disbelief. So be not sorrowful over the people who disbelieve. Um, it, it doesn't say that the Torah and the Injil has been corrupted. It is saying that um, it could possibly be saying that the way that the Jews and Christians act, the people of the scripture act, is not correct. But it's it's saying that they're not acting according these people of the scriptures the jews and christians are not acting according to the torah and the gospel so it's condemning their actions it's not saying the original scriptures are corrupted um i think i got what's called a verbal jihad there um this is the problem with so much religion the older i get the more convinced i am that most religion you know what it's a complete and utter con Religious people don't believe the crap that they teach. They really don't. And a lot of it, uh, I think, is just grifting. They're just grifters. Grifters is an American term um, for people who steal money from people, but they don't steal it by mugging people. They don't hold a knife to you and say, give me your wallet. Grifters con you by... um, getting you to willingly hand your money over to them. So a grifter might phone you up and say, hey, I can help you with your pension. Your pen- what is your pension? You say, my pension will be £200 a week. Hey, give it to me. I'll turn it into £2,000 a week. So you sign the forms, you hand the, your pension over to the, the grifter. 
and you never see the grifter again. The grifter steals all your pensions. You have zero pension. That's what a grifter is. And I just feel that so many religious people, it's all grifting. It's all conning, often sincere, genuine hearted people. And I think there's many sincere, genuine hearted people in all religions. Um, I'm not saying they've all come to the knowledge of the true God, but I think there's sincere people and they trust their religious leaders. And whilst there are some good religious leaders, um, unfortunately, many of them go with the crowd. And it seems that in Islam, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what the Quran says. The key thing is what the scholars say. And the Quran assumes throughout the Quran that the Torah and the Injil, okay, the Bible, is the word of God and is trustworthy. And if you want to understand it, go to the people of the book. Now, if the Quran was written in the 600s, that means the Quran is assuming after 600 that the Bible is not corrupted. The Bible is trustworthy and reliable. But that's not what the Islamic scholars say today. They believe that the Quran uh, says that the Bible has been corrupted. And when you ask them to prove that, they can't.